Born in 1689, Lady Mary Wortley Montagu was in many ways a typical privileged aristocrat. But she was also a writer and traveller who introduced the smallpox inoculation to Britain and saved countless lives. The Sun Monument in Wentworth Castle Gardens is dedicated to her. 300 years on, artist Lorna Rees wants to know if and how all of this still resonates today. Encounters with public health and scientific progress. Dressed in a costume inspired by Lady Mary's extraordinary life, she is ready to find out. She was called Mary Wortley Montague. Yeah. So 300 years ago, she introduced inoculation oh. to England. Oh, oh how amazing! <gasps> She'd had smallpox very badly, so if you can see on my arm. She nearly died. Her brother died of it oh, when he wow. was 19. So her life was really scarred by it. But she, anyway, she went off to Turkey, kind of had adventures. And she learnt about this science of engraftment, the inoculation. Okay from um, the Turkish women that she met out there. So she had her own children inoculated mm. and then she told people about what she was doing. So she shared that kind of essentially as a really early public health wow. campaigner. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's this is yeah, the variola viruses, yeah. virus yeah. on the inside on, under an electron wow, microscope. Beautiful, wow, beautiful, isn't it? It's a costume inspired by yeah, her life rather than it, being yeah, her, but yeah, it, yeah. it's got the Georgian vibe to it, yeah, I think, yeah, so. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> You've been working during the pandemic, or? Well, I was working in a school until a few months ago, <gasps> and I've just now joined the immunisation team for schools. Wow. But during the summer, I was doing COVID immunising. Yeah, We've been trying to find somebody to talk to, actually, from the NHS, but because of the boost and somebody yeah, with him. they're so busy and several of them are about to leave because they're exhausted so they're retiring taking their pension yeah. but coming back part-time because they just can't keep going at the rate they're at they're completely at. exhausting they're the most wonderful team i've ever known and now i've joined them which is fantastic what i absolutely love is that there's a brilliant end to the story and in, in yeah. the sense that in 1980 smallpox was eradicated yeah, from the world incredible. so all this learning yeah. all this knowledge all right it took a few hundred years yeah, but it actually was science is collaborative right and it's this iterative process of learning and curiosity yeah. and she helped that and i feel like oh that's why we should know more about her that's incredible